back to International Scale Model, I'm Lee. Today we're going to do a review of a compressor here. Uh, now a few of you might know that recently I moved to Menorca in Spain, in the Balearic Islands, and I had a bit of a problem with my existing um, compressor. I had a cheap old Chinese one that was on its way out. Uh, the guys, um, I've got uh, one of the um, Bambi BB-8 oil compressors, really nice one. Very big unit though. Uh, very heavy. Uh, I couldn't get it over. Couldn't get it shipped over without it getting damaged, um, and uh, I couldn't get it in the car. Once I got everything else in the car, like all the electronics, the house stuff, and things like that, there just wasn't any room in it. So I've been out in Menorca, um, and literally within three weeks, four weeks of being here, I managed to get two models finished, um, and literally it just packed up my old Chinese thing. You know, one of those eighty quid jobs off of. Uh, uh, off of eBay, which just completely packed up on me, stopped working completely, so I haven't been able to do anything for a month. Um, now, the nice guys over at uh, graphicair.co.uk sent me this uh, to review and as a replacement, it's very kind of them. They're the guys that make this spray booth, the AS300D, which is probably um, industry standard for, for modelers. Uh, one of the, well, it's, it's the best um, extractor that, out on the market at the moment. It's not cheap again, but it is the best. Um, I've, I've used several now and uh, nothing compares to this, you know, it clears a whole room, you don't really need to mask, although I've got to say you should wear a mask, uh, even though you don't have to with that thing, it's really, really good. But anyway, they sent me this, um, I said I was after one, obviously I con contributed a little bit towards it and everything, but they did say, well, look, they'll sort us out and send me one of these down, so I said I'll do a review on it. I've been aching to, I've had it a couple of days now, but I haven't had time to do the review and it's been stuck in a box and I want to get modelling again. Uh, so uh, I want to get this uh, review over and done with and get out the door. But uh, this is this has got quite a good little uh, few little um, uh, secrets about it and everything. You look at it and think, oh, it's got no tank and all that sort of stuff. But as we go through, you'll see. But I'll tell you now, the tank it's actually got a half a litre tank, but it's the handle itself. The whole handle here is the air tank, which is absolutely fantastic. It's really good. Such a good space saver as well. Brilliant little unit. I haven't had it out of the box yet as well, so I can't wait to get in there. So I think without further ado, let's uh, hop on and have a look. We'll unbox it um, and then we'll unhook everything, hook it all up and then uh, see what it performs like. All right, let's go over and have a look inside the box. Right, okay, so this is the iWater Studio Series PowerJet Plus. Um, now, as I say, this is one of those uh, Things that it, it is a, a high end of the um, compressor market. I think it's over three hundred pounds. We'll flash the price up in a minute. Um, so it's one of those that's quite a specialist piece of equipment, and it's the top of its range. I think this is the the highest one they do in their their, their um, studio series. Iwater doing a studio series. Obviously, it's recommended for all Iwater um, uh, airbrushes, but obviously you can use any airbrush at all with it. Now it's made for a lot of different things. Um, you can pretty much use it for most of all the, the things you want to do like graphics, automotive repairs, sign making, bakery fingernails, models, fine arts, all sorts of stuff. Um, so it's recommended for any airbrush application basically. Uh, but on the box you can see there, there's a nice picture and all the doody da bits and bobs and all that sort of stuff about it. A bit more about what's inside about the carry tank handle, moisture filter, airbrush holder, on off switch. Woo! It's got an on off switch. Um, but um, but there you go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have a look at uh, inside the box. It's, uh, obviously I've opened the top but I haven't got anything out yet. So it comes in uh, the box itself is nice and sturdy. It's really thick. It's double, double cardboard. Um, inside we've got, let's just get everything out. You can see it's all quite well packed in there. And these little bits and bobs out first. As you can see, it's got all this packing foam in there, which is good stuff because I can use that. Right, now, after looking at it, uh, first impressions, I have to say, very very sturdy. Uh, it's it's a good weight. I think it weighs in all told when you put everything together about seven seven kilos something like that. So it's a nice weight. You can feel it's very sturdy. That's not going to break or even if, I think if you drop that the, the actual frame itself, the handle itself will protect it. But it feels very solid, very stable. It's not like those cheap Chinese ones where you look at them and think yeah I don't want to knock that really. That looks really good. I have to say as you can see. 
all the way around. And you can see where the, this air thing in the hose is in the handle. I think it's actually a fantastic idea. But uh, as you go around, there you go. I mean, a few specs about it. Uh, it comes with a uh, uh, quarter horsepower induction motor, which is nice. There's a half a litre air tank inside here. Um, and I think the working pressure is something, obviously from naught to, I think it's around 60 PSI, which is pretty comparable with most of them. What I do know is that after reading up a bit about it, is that you can run up to four airbrushes at the same time with this going. And obviously you've got these two pistons here. Um, and uh, so apparently you can, you can run four airbrushes quite easily on that. Now, I would imagine that the motor would be going all time when you're doing that, so it might not be a, a great thing, because I'm not yet to hear how loud this is, but I'm sure it's not as quiet as my Bambi one. Uh, but it's got apparently it's got smart technology in it that allows uh, switching, reduces the running time and motor wear and things like this at 40 PSI and then switches off when it gets to a higher PSI. Uh, obviously moisture filter, pressure gauge and everything this is all on this part here. Again, if, when looking at this you can, you, you can see that it, it kind of all looks and feels very nice and chunky and well made not plasticky and horrible like some of them do that you get off of eBay and stuff like that. So very nice indeed. And uh, you've, uh, I think um, it's, I think the hose, you've got a braided hose here as well. I think this is about three meters, two and a half, three meters, something like that. Quarter inch on one end and then obviously your standard one eighth on the other. Um, it's got a spray gun holder, which is this, and also comes with a very small airbrush holder as well so you got so it can run as proper spray gun apparently this is what they're saying with this bit here and you've got a little uh, airbrush holder there as well so that's nice that's very handy these I, I bastardized the ones you get off of eBay the cheap ones with four on it and I screw these to my desk um, so it's so much easier um, than doing it any other way but apart from that it's got uh, apparently it's got two built-in cooling fans as well that helps the motor wear and things like that it says the noise level is about 50 to 58 decibels, um, which is, I think most of the Chinese ones you get off the internet are, are you know, upper 60s, 70s, somewhere around that sort of thing, if I remember rightly. Uh, but uh, I've got to say, it does feel really, really sturdy. I'm really, it's, it's like, you know, when that's on, that's not going to move. I mean, you've got, you've got obviously four rubber feet here that are well connected. And then you've got uh, you got them mounted to the uh, the sub uh, to the uh, motor here, and you've got rubber in between on the mounts as well to stop any um, excess vibration and things like that. The hose, the braided hoses uh, are, are not cheap either. They they look really good as you can see. Um, it doesn't look cheap. Everything looks really well manufactured all the way around. Obviously, you've got your release valve here um, and here. That's an, that'll be an emergency valve and there's your release valve to empty the tank and everything. But again, all your braided hoses, all in excellent uh, condition. Um, and just looking around it, I mean, you've got a, it looks like a two and a half litre power lead as well. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, um, and just there, as you can see, you've got your on off, your electric panel and everything. Um, but uh, it does look really nice, I've got to say. It's, it's a, a nice bit of kit. So what I'm going to do now is let's put it together and uh, see where everything goes. So we've obviously, oh, I forgot this. We've also got uh, an instruction manual here, which has got a uh, limited warranty and everything. So you want to register that and get that, obviously. Um, and then you've got an uh, instruction manual there. This is in several languages. And I watch for Japanese, I think, aren't they? So that's Japanese, Japanese. Uh, and then we go, we've got some English. On the other side, safety precautions uh, coming up first. Let's have a look. Yeah, just lots more safety precautions. Uh, check the. It says here, check the uh, product major components before you do anything. Make sure the model's correct. Check the accessories, um, names of all the major components and everything here. So you know uh, what they are. Yeah, so drown valve and safety valve. Uh, airbrush holder goes there. Air filter inlet. Auto stop, uh, oh, that's the auto stop pressure thing here, which is very good indeed. Uh, how to operate, test operation, obviously we'll go through all this in a minute. Um, I'll hook all this up and then we'll, we'll do that. Uh, but apart from that, some maintenance, some um, ideas for maintenance and inspections, how often you should do it, every 100 hours, six months, daily, etc, etc. Depends on how, much, how often you use it, I would imagine. And then on the back, problems and remedies, so a little uh, troubleshooting fact on the back there. Uh, but apart from that, so that looks pretty easy and uh, um, 
to comprehend and everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop all this together and then we'll come back and see what we've got. Right, okay then, so you can see that I've put it all together now. That took me a grand total of about three or four minutes, if that. Uh, basically, I've put on the uh, water trap and pressure regulator. Um, it literally is, as you can see here, it's just like a butterfly nut that you know goes down. It's got a seal inside. And the same for the, um, the air hose as well. It just goes on the other side of the trap. The trap is quite simple to use. It's literally one of those ones that you obviously remember to empty every now and then if you get a lot of moisture in your house. I've put this little uh, uh, airbrush holder on. Um, where's my airbrush? Um, so you can see you can leave it on the edge like that, uh, which is actually kind of handy. Um, I'll go into that a little bit later. But um, So what I've done, I've also put on at the end here, I've put on a quick release uh, valve so that uh, won't start the, uh, the air won't come out and everything when we turn it on. Now, as you can see here, you've got the pressure gauge uh, and everything. So I'm going to run it up now for the first time and uh, we'll see how long it takes to fill up from zero uh, pressure and the noise and how long it goes up to. I don't know what it's set at at the moment, so we'll have to see, but I'm going to set it at, four, um, at uh, 25 psi, which is about what I spray it normally. So I'm just going to turn it up on, so here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that filled up quickly. <laughs> I expected it to take a lot longer than that. Oh my. Okay, well, let's just have a look at the pressure. Uh, so that's, um, so we've got 25, 30, 35, 40. So I'm just going to down that a bit. And as you can see, it's quite easily done as well. So we're now on 25 psi, hopefully. So I'm just going to pop the airbrush in. I'm just watching that fall down. Alright, so we're just going to get a true reading. Because what you're going to do, what you're going to, what you're going to remember is when you spray and you uh, press down for the air, it may look like the gauge is saying 25, but once you spray, you're spraying at a few psi less. Well, that fills up a bit quick, doesn't it? I'm just going to, there we go. So you can see there, it actually takes a second to fill up it's not that loud actually, it's not that intrusive. I'm just going to bump up the pressure up to 40. Okay, now the only instance that I could think of that you would spray at 40 is if you're spraying extra acrylics uh, matte, matte coat, uh, which is you spray it neat and it needs to be about 40 to 50 psi. Uh, but it's the only time I can imagine using something that high. So I'm just, uh, I've just hit it now, so we're going to That's how quick it is. That is really, really quick, the way it fills up. Really good indeed. Now I'm just gonna down that a bit more. Get that back down to 25, which is where we would normally spray out. Got a bit far there. One more. Yeah, so on the gauge, if you have a look here, I've got it set at 27. 27. That would be the ideal to spray at 25 because you're losing a couple of psi, two or three psi when you press down on the on the air hose itself. Uh, but if you're spraying away. Uh. 
I love the way that cuts in and out really quickly. Um, obviously the difference between this and maybe some of the other ones is the fact that this is, has only got a half a litre tank whereas a lot of the other ones have a litre tank. Now all that does is going to double the time it takes between um, charges, between the time, each time it charges up. So uh, I'm quite happy with that. That is such a really, it's for, for a, a, a piston, oilless um, compressor that's really quiet. I'm just going to give one more go on that. That's really good. And how quick, because it is only a half litre tank, how quick that fills up. Um, so uh, it literally is not going to be obtrusive at all. You're going to be doing a spraying. I mean, you're never not continuously spraying all the time anyway, but you're going to get a wing done before it charges and things like that on a, on a 148 or something like that. So, so far, very, very impressed. And I have to say a massive thank you to the guys at Graphic Air already straight away. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm just going to move everything around a bit, get this set up so it's permanently in my spray bay. Oh, the one, the one thing I forgot to mention is, on here, the good thing about this, because of the, the way this nut is, as you can see, you've got these big flanges on there to turn it. It literally is just a case of, um, you know, obviously you, I'll depressurize your tank first, but you can literally just undo it half a turn and move this, this whole unit, to where you want it to be quite easily. And what that means is that, uh, obviously, we never always sit above our, um, uh, compressors looking down at the gauge. So it means you can move this to an angle that's uh, ideal for you, uh, so you can just quickly just glance over and, and look at it. So uh, I, I really do like that idea. But um, so far, so absolutely fantastic. So let's get over, get it hooked up and into the spray bay and see how she performs. Actually, I thought just before I do that, um, I just thought I'd give you a comparison between uh, the cheap Chinese version, which is this one here, uh, which is my kaput one, and uh, obviously the uh, PowerJet Plus from my water. Now, as you can see, uh, size-wise, this is smaller. Uh, it's more compact, and it's a lot less noisier. I'd say this is a good 15 decibels uh, louder than this one. Um, as I say, you can see here, you've got the piston and the motor here, and you've got a big, I would imagine that's a two-liter tank, actually, a three-liter air tank on this one. So it's quite a good tank. It's the only thing that this has over this, this is only a half litre tank, but I can I can negate that just for the fact that the fact that, that is absolutely a fantastic piece of kit. Right, okay, so let's go over to the spray bay. Right, okay then, so what I'm gonna do now is just gonna do a quick spray test. I mean, it doesn't have to be too involved. I mean, compressors spray, they spray. So I'm just gonna put some uh, AK primer in there, unthinned, uh, spraying at about, let's have a look, 24 to 25 PSI. Yep, okay, now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a couple of few sprays and things like that. Uh, it is charged, apart from the little bit I've just done there, so we'll see how we do. So nice big. I have to say, it's a very even uh, spray, very even indeed. Yeah, it's, it's what it's like. Really, all compressors should be uh, the same, uh, really, with their out, air output and everything, because it, it's pre charged uh, in a tank and then it releases it. But I have to say, that is a lot smoother. Um, than that Chinese piece of crap I used to have. Um, the Bambi one the, um, is on a par, um, but uh, I've got to say, I actually prefer, I've got to say, I think I prefer this one uh, over and above the Bambi, uh, mainly because of the size, it's very small, very compact, it's reasonably quiet. It, it comes on a couple of times here and there, as you can see. Spray again. It takes some time. But what I want to do is I'm going to put on the uh, air vent, okay, the extractor. Okay, so we've got this sound here. So I want to listen to this with the uh, compressor because when you're spraying, this is the noise you've got. People say, oh, the compressor's noisy. But really, this is the noise that you hear, not the compressor. So I'm just going to carry on spraying a bit. 
See if you can hear the compressor over and above. See? Can you hear that? I can hardly hear that over the uh, air vent, over the extractor. So I don't think you've got anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with the airflow. It's coming out really smooth and nice. No problems at all. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, I've got to certainly switch off. <laughs> So uh, we'll go back over to uh, the main bench for some uh, last words. So then, what do I think? Uh, final conclusions. Uh, I've got to say, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I'm really impressed with it. Um, I think that uh, where it's got the dual pistons and it's got the dual fans on either, it's got a big fan on either end. Um, it stops the motors from overheating and uh, everything else that comes with it. it very very sturdy it's got an air tank even though it looks like it everything looks very well made the electrics aren't loose or dangly or anything like that all the filters are fantastic the the the, the, the uh, water filter is solid uh, the pressure gauge is great everything you can move it in minute um, you know it's it's very easy to move around obviously because of the handle it's a little bit of a weight at seven kilos but I like that the fact that you know you've got two motors in there and everything um, I just like the way it's very solid build. Um, I don't think I can't see too many problems with this. I think the warranty is, uh, you know, goes on for. Let me have a look. Um, I think it looks like a lifetime one, limited life. Oh, one year. Sorry, one year full uh, warranty and everything. But if there's anything that goes wrong with it, I'm sure the pieces, because it's eye water, uh, the 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 parts are going to be easy to handle and everything. Um, sprays really nicely. It's an eye water. That's an Eclipse HPCS, so again, it should work really well with that. But uh, I like the fact that you get a, a three meter air hose as well. That's really nice, uh, it's a nice touch. Usually you get the, uh, the average one and a half to two meters. Everything's solidly built. Oh, I've got to say, it is expensive. Um, at uh, over, I think it's over 300 pounds, give or take. Um, it is very much top of the line for um, an oil-free compressor. You're not gonna get much more expensive than this. Depending on what you want to use it for, it's going to be worth the money. As I say, it has all the applications with regards to everything that you would use an airbrush for. It says you, it's even powerful enough to do body spray. Um, I would imagine maybe small um, motorcycles and things like that and maybe repair, body spray repair, just a tiny little area on a car. It couldn't handle a big, big job, obviously. But you can have up to four airbrushes at the same time going off of this, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, that means the motor's going to be going. But because of the fans and everything, it says you can con use it constantly for 60 minutes without a break. Uh, so that is fantastic. Um, you know, you and I may spray for an hour, but it's not going for an hour. Um, and especially where it charges like that, you know, literally, you know, two seconds and it's charged. Uh, I really do like that. Okay, it charges more often, but I really like it. It's not loud. It's not uh, in your uh, in your face in, or your eye, your ears, uh, with regards to charging, it's a very quick sound. It's not like um, the sloppy Chinese, you know. It really is, and it's done. So, uh, for me, this is a a, a total one hundred and ten percent recommend, and I want to say a massive thank you to the guys at Graphic Hair uh, for supplying this to me to, to review and obviously and everything else. Um, I'm really really chuffed with it and. Uh, I say, if you've got the spare cash, um, go out and get one. I mean, you know, it's the old adage that uh, you know, buy what the the best that you can afford. Um, so if you can afford to splurge a little bit, maybe you're saving up for a couple of months and bought new models for a couple of months, got a few pennies lying around, need a new compressor, then I would definitely recommend this baby. Uh, I can imagine this will be here to stay for a long, long time, um, and it will serve me well, I'm sure. So. Um, uh, that's that's the, that is the uh, Iowa Water uh, what's it Studio Series Super Jet Plus, um, and I am well impressed with it. I love it, absolutely love it. So uh, until next time, take care. Bye bye.